Hey everyone, today I thought I would do a favourites video. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought I would update you on what favourites I'm loving at the moment. Um, I don't really have a monthly favourites thing going on because every month I usually have the same products. So I thought if I change any products up and I really like them, I'll just show you guys. And I've kind of collected a few that I'm really loving at the moment. So if you want to see what I'm loving, just keep watching. The first thing that I'm loving at the moment is my Inglot palette. It's so pretty and I love it. This is the Shimmer palette. I've put a whole heap of shimmer eyeshadows in this palette. I do have a matte palette as well, um, but I tend to go for these shimmer ones as a bit more than the matte ones. Like I use the matte ones as a base and then I'll go in with these beautiful colors. I'm not sure what the numbers are, sorry, but I'll do a few swatches for you to see of each color. They're just gorgeous colors. I'm in love with these colors. I'm running out of fingers to swatch these. So that's what they look like on my fingers. Bit of a mess, but that's what they look like on the pack of my hand. Just all swatched with the light. I'm not sure if you can see them, but I just love these colors. They blend so easily. So that's why they're one of my favorites at the moment. My next favorite at the moment is by the Jojoba Company. It's the Redness Reducing Balm, Calming Enriched with Antioxidants. I absolutely love this cream. I use it for daytime and nighttime. It has a smell kind of of lavenderish, I think. Um, it is a calming smell, that's why I use it at night time as well. It does the job. I have really red cheeks and my cheeks have been less red, more calm, which is a good thing for me because I really don't like red cheeks. Only a flush of red cheeks is good for me, but this one actually has been helping a lot. So I'm loving it and the bottle is just awesome. I'm just loving the shape of the bottle because it just sits nicely on my cabinet thingy and it's cute. So yeah, loving that. My next favorite of all time is the Natio Refreshing Face Mist Moisturizing Toner. So this spray here, I just cleanse my face then spray this and then I would put the jojoba cream on over the top. This is just amazing. It's one of my favorites and I'll always repurchase this one. If you've tried this one, let me know because um, yeah, it's just awesome and I love it. Going into makeup favorites, my first is the Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation by CoverGirl. I am in the shade 842 and I actually really like this one. I'm oily in my T-zone and I'm dry around the rest of my face and this just blends in so nicely and lasts the whole day. That's why that is one of my favorites. I know Kat from Kitch Snitch loves it. Um, a few other people love it, I'm not sure, but I went off her recommendation and love it. My next makeup favorite is the Flamed Out Covergirl Mascara. The packaging is awesome. The brush head is different, but it works really, really well. I love this mascara. The formulation is just beautiful. It makes your lashes just pop. Um, I wouldn't say it's massively flamed out, but if you just keep working with it, it's just amazing. So this is one of my favorites that I'm using up and I'll probably repurchase when I finished. My next favorite is the Essence Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. I'm not sure if this is still around. I haven't been able to find it, but I've still got a fair bit to use up there. 
but this is one of my favorites for mattifying my face it just smooths over everything and when I touch my face it's really really smooth and that's what I want in a loose translucent powder and that's what makes my makeup last all day is if I have that smooth finish from the translucent powder so this one just does an awesome job and I love it Going on to lips, my favourite lip product at the moment is the Revlon Colour Burst Lacquer Balm in, I think this one's called Whimsical. Yep. And it's the shiny one. I'll do a swatch for you. It's just a gorgeous colour. It's so nice. And I just love it for like an everyday kind of lip. It's not too... It's not too dark and it's not too light it just goes on quite nicely and I just love it because the shine is so nice on this and if you, even if you wanted to mattify your lips you could but you'd still have that little bit of shine that comes through and it lasts all day well it has for me it does come off a little bit when you eat but you can still just reapply and the stain will be there even if the shine's gone away but that's why I love this product because it's just so great my next favorite is this covergirl flamed out eyeshadow pencil I have it on today I'm not sure if you can see it but it's underneath some eyeshadows it just peeks through a little bit that's the swatch right there and it's just a beautiful color that just sits really nicely on the lid it hasn't creased for me which is really good and I'm just loving it I would use it under any eyeshadows oh that's a bit gross it's a bit dirty but yeah I absolutely love this pencil comparing it to the Maybelline little pot things um, they're about the same um, except I found that the Maybelline ones crease on me a little bit whereas this one doesn't it goes on a little bit drier but it's still easy to work with still easy to blend so that's why this one is another favorite of mine my last favorite of the day is the bubblegum lip scrub by Lush just to keep those lips all nice and smooth it looks like that if you haven't seen the lip scrub before it smells sweet like sugar and it's just probably because it is sugar but it's just amazing it's one of my favorites and I've loved this for years um, it does a really good job you can get rid of all of the dead skin on your lips and if you're having like a pamper day or a treatment day I would pull out this and I would just scrub my lips you can lick it off you can wipe it off it's up to you it tastes amazing just don't eat the sugar in the packaging <laughs> I never do but it's just an awesome lip scrub you'd want to eat it it tastes that good but just don't <laughs> So that was the end of my favourites video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below to tell me if you've used any of these products before. If you love them, if you hate them. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.